Hello, welcome back to KG Simple Reviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing this Vakaya Vegetable Chopper 8-in-1 Multifunctional Kitchen Tool. I am all about condensing several different kitchen tools into one kitchen tool, so I am really excited about this. Let's go ahead and open it up and see everything that this can actually do. I love that this is not just a vegetable chopper. It's not just for cutting onions. It's not just for slicing tomatoes. It can do so many different things, and I love that it all comes stored in this one container. I that That's amazing. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I love that everything can be stored inside of here, just so I don't even have to think about different storage options or taking up an entire drawer to fit all of the different pieces. So that's a huge plus for me. Ooh, nice. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open up everything and lay it out and we'll talk about what each piece does. I'm just gonna go over what each of these blades does. So this one is a juice squeezer. It's gonna be used for like juicing a lemon or an orange. This one is a egg white filter, so you can separate your egg whites from your yolks while you're making like cakes or desserts or whatever you need that for. This one in here is a large dicer blade. This is gonna be used for tomatoes, apples, onions, potatoes. And this one is the small dicer blade, and this one's more for smaller potatoes, tomatoes, and things like kiwi. This one is a julienne slicer. It would be perfect for carrots and cucumbers and zucchinis, especially for salads. That would be so perfect for that. And this one is a fine shredder. This is going to be perfect for shredding cheese or chocolate or garlic or nuts. This is a waffle slicer, which would be perfect to make waffle fries or make waffle carrots. And this is a thin slicer, which would be good for something like potatoes, carrots, cucumbers, onions, or apples. And then it also comes with this little cleaning tool. It just is something that helps you get into some of these little cracks that you might not be able to get in with your dish sponge or your finger. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick which of these dicers that you want to use and you're just going to put it in this slot. For example, if I was going to make waffle fries, I would just fit this one right in there, click it into place. I can push the potato into here or whatever item I'm going to be slicing up. I can just push it right in here and it shows arrows in what direction you should be using it just to protect all your fingers. And then you can just hold on to this and run it back and forth and then all of your waffle potatoes are going to be down in this container right here. And then if you are going to be dicing up something with, for example, with this one, you just put that right into place and then you're going to just push this down and it's just gonna slice them right up into this container as well. I love how functional this is. I'm so excited to put this to use. I'm gonna go ahead and try this out on some apples and cheese. So I am going to wash up the pieces that I need and come right back so you can see how it works. Okay, I got these pieces washed up and ready to go. I sliced up a little apple. I basically just sliced around the middle um, part with the seeds. I just wanna see how well it chops up something that is fairly hard like an apple. So I don't think there's a really a right or a wrong way to do this. You just put the item that you want sliced right here and then push it down. Wow. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Okay, that was not hard at all. It wasn't too hard for me to push and it cut these apples into these perfect little rectangular pieces. Okay, so I did an apple and I just feel like this is going to make snack time a lot more fun and when I do need to make recipes that have things chopped up a lot smaller this would be perfect basically if I had larger pieces of apple this would be like apple fries I could definitely cut a potato and make french fries out of them I feel like this gives a lot more opportunity in the kitchen okay let's go ahead and shred some cheese I have my cheese grater right here just snap it right into place I'm gonna grab my cheese Okay, so I'm going to grade my cheese and I'm just gonna use this little safety grip here and when you use this, you just push whatever it is that you are slicing up as far down as it can. It's like stuck into here with those little metal rods. So now my fingers can be protected from the blades all along this area and I'm just going to run this back and forth until I have as much cheese as I would like. Okay, I feel like this grip helps 
so much. I mean, number one, I don't need to worry about hurting myself, but number two, it just makes this process a lot easier. Okay, so I just wanted to shred enough cheese to see how nicely it shreds the cheese down here. So I'm just gonna lift this up so I can see what it looks like. Oh my goodness, that's perfect shredded cheese. Overall, I'm impressed and I'm excited to try all the different slicer options on here. I feel like this is going to make meals and meal prepping a lot more fun. I'm gonna go ahead and put a link in the description down below so you can go check this one out yourself. If you found this review useful, please give this video a thumbs up and follow us for more. Thanks for watching, bye.